At one point, oh fuck, no, 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 no. Let's move. Okay. Uh, at one point, I I branched. Up. Okay, so I quit Started.net a while back, um, and it was mostly due to life issues. Um, and then I felt that I couldn't really come back to the site. I, I think I tried at one point to come back in my previous thing, but I wasn't. It wasn't really my site anymore. So I kind of, I kind of, I kind of wanted to do something different. And what I, what I basically did was, um, a big thing back then was map protection. And uh, there's this huge controversy around this tool that was released called OS Map, which is called like open source map. And uh, being through college and all that, I, I actually had got a recent liking to open source. Uh, software and stuff like that, and the whole thing was it was it was a stupid thing with the community. Basically, people were people would spend like hours on their map, and so um, some people were dicks, and they would basically take take the maps and uh, and replace their name on it, right? And so I was all for, I all supported it because I was like, well, you know, people should be rewarded for their hard work and all that kind of crap. You know, I'm, I, I agreed with that. That that was that was a you know because that, that was a very real threat back in the day, of people like just literally stealing maps just to be a prick, just to go, oh, this is made by XXX XXX Snipes 420 kind of a thing instead of, you know, uh, Mike Flat or Yoshi Just Sniper or Technical Death or a bunch of my other older like self handles. Oh, I can start attacking this. Okay, cool. Um, and so, and so, like, I supported it, but then I kind of realized that it didn't even fucking matter, because in most cases, like, the map communities had kind of taken precedence kind of thing, like, people, people kind of knew other mappers, and so reputation kind of became everything in, in the mapping community, so, you know, Jimbo jo Bob didn't really matter as much to everybody else, kind of thing, and you know what, to be honest, it was very unlikely that a map that was stolen would be spread. Like, I, I remember Woohoo Bound got stolen, some guy put his name on it. But I kind of didn't give a fuck, and I, that's kind of the stance I took. I'm like, I don't really care, guys. Like, you know. But, uh, a tool called, oh, and basically all the map protection was, was is corrupting it to the point where the game would read it, but the, uh, but the, but the game editor couldn't, so you couldn't open it up and your map was, your map was safe. And, you know, they, and it, it basically just fixed the corruption. That's all it really was. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Not really, actually. Let's get them all in here. No, don't, don't fucking you dumbass race. You know, they, they deserve to die if they're gonna be doing this. Like, honestly, they're, they're, they have an attitude problem. Well, this is the easiest mission ever. Once you bring the marines in, it's it's over. Marines are OP. Uh oh. Uh, attack my SCVs. Show them, show them the the honor of, of SCV dueling. Okay. Anyways, um, so this tool basically fixed the maps and fixed their corruptions and all that kind of stuff. And people didn't like that because they thought, well, now people are going to steal my map. And I kind of said, well, no, not really, because. The, the things that, uh, a tool that existed at the time were hex editors, and you could edit the strings of maps, so I'm like, well, it's kind of pointless. And the thing is, some of my favorite maps of all time, and some, some if you played StarCraft 1, probably some of yours, they were edited maps. Um, the original creator's name wasn't necessarily kept on it, which is not a good thing. Uh, like, and Special Forces was the best example of that. I, and, and so I kind of said, well, you know, I, I think everyone's getting their, their panties in a bunch, and I think if 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 I make a site that supports um, openness, you know, kind of just like open mapping, open modding kind of thing, that's what I called it. Then uh, then everything would turn out fine, and uh, and the world didn't the world didn't implode. People didn't stop making maps. I, I think it, it sparked a lot of it sparked a lot of interest in it. I, I would think at least that's my opinion. Some people would disagree. But the site, the site was great. It was a great resource. It was really good for that kind of stuff. So it was called Maplantis. What's your angle here, Minsk? Our angle? I'll give you an angle, you slimy Confederate piece of sh. Jim, enough. I'll handle this. The Confederacy has fallen apart, Duke. Its colonies are in open revolt. The Zerg are rampaging unchecked. What would have happened? 
here today if we hadn't shown up. Your point? I'm giving you a choice. You can return to the Confederacy and lose, or you can join us and help save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general, for God's sake. A general without an army. I'm offering you a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience, Edmund. You've made the right choice, General Duke. I can't believe you're really gonna trust this snake. Don't worry, Jim. He's our snake now. Yay, okay, let's keep going. And I'll, I'll, keep, I'll continue my little story after that. Commander, our position has been discovered. As of two hours ago, a large Confederate strike force arrived on Antigua Prime and established a base camp within our defensive perimeter. Arcturus Manx is calling a meeting. Greetings. I know you're all concerned about the Confederate strike force. But first, we have a grave matter to discuss. It seems our data disks didn't hold weapon designs after all. Lieutenant Kerrigan will explain. You all know that the Confederates run a program for psychically gifted humans, training them to be ghosts. Those running the program found that the Zerg are attuned to the psychic emanations of ghosts. So the Zerg are here for you, darling? Huh. This keeps getting better and better. Shut up. There's been a lot of secret Confederate research surrounding ghosts and the Zerg. What we stole was a small but critical piece of the puzzle. Designs for a transplanar psionic waveform emitter. The emitters broadcast the neural imprint of a ghost, but at a much greater magnitude. These things reach across worlds. The Confederacy used these psi emitters to lure the Zerg into isolated containment areas. Your colony, Marsara Commander, was one such location. What are you saying? I'm saying the Zerg are a secret weapon developed by the Confederacy. I'm saying you were all subjects of a Confederate weapons test. Just as they destroyed Korhal with nuclear weapons to establish dominance a generation ago, they would use the Zerg to put an end to their other rivals. Only this time there'd be no outrage. Who could suspect the aliens were their creation? No, they'd be lauded as heroes for coming in and destroying the Zerg. It's time the Confederacy paid for its crimes. And I know just the way. Lieutenant Kerrigan is going to plant an emitter at the Confederate base camp. Commander, you will provide her with an escort. When the Zerg arrive, they'll break the blockade for us and we'll make our escape. Now, get moving. Lag issues, okay. Well, it's okay, because once the game starts, it's okay. I know you have personal feelings about this, but you can't let your past cloud your judgment. Carry out your orders, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Alright. Using liftoff command and all that kind of jazz. Yes, sir. And this will be the official building oh, SUV yes, because, yes. uh... He's got the side meter and can't actually carry minerals, so... Go, I, I might as well. Use them for an actual useful purpose. Receiving we get defense orders. matrix, which is something that you can do actually to get them all the way over there. I'm actually curious about that. Do you guys, do you guys think I could like side like defense matrix the fuck out of this guy? I don't know. I should probably. I'll get. I'll get like a small strike group of like race or something to help because you know I haven't used race yet. And you guys are probably getting mad at me, because I think I've solved every single problem I've faced in this game with, with fucking Marines. <laughs> Alright, anyways, um, so I was talking about OS map and, and shit like that. Uh, and so, yeah, there was a huge, like, you know, community drama and all that kind of stuff around that. Because people didn't like the fact that, um, it was, it was kind of forced, that was the problem. Because people didn't agree with me, and so my, my whole stance was... Maps should be open by default, and they're like, no, no, they shouldn't, Mike. And then I'm like, well, they said, um, I was Tao at the time. 
But um, but yeah, there was like a whole bunch of drama about on that, and then I, as I said, if it, nothing nothing happened. Like it, it was fine, uh, and I would have I would have hoped that the lessons would have been kind of carried on into um, the StarCraft Two community, but unfortunately that isn't the case. Uh, people people Blizzard kind of provided protection by default. And I think the mapping community has suffered for that. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of great ideas in games, but basically, if you want to take someone's idea, uh, you have to remake the map yourself and redo all the work, which I don't agree with. I, I think that uh, you know, if if the if the work is already there, it's just a goddamn game like instructions to like place a bunch of units and triggers and shit like that. Who gives a shit? Like, it's it's not like it's not like you're making money on it. Uh, apparently they're gonna allow map makers to make money, but it's already too late. StarCraft 2 mapping kind of sucks, so... <laughs> I won't lie, like, no, I, I don't think anyone really likes it in that community. Uh, I won't, and they're kind, they're kind of still doing it, but it's, you have to spend an enormous amount of work, and the only reason you, you would have to, to continue to, um, make maps for that game is, is because literally it's, um, what's it called? Because the assets are there, like, that's the only reason you would, you'd fucking do it. Actually, I only need three SMBs on that. And it, it kind of makes me a little mad, uh, a little bit. Because I'm just like, you know, people people just take the, this this game too seriously and the mapping and stuff. But I get it, you spent a lot of time on your map. But, you know, wh when we kind of, when I had debates about this kind of shit, when it when it got away from the, from the, from the, uh, from the map stealing, because literally I said, you know, but the program OS map and that has nothing to do with stealing. I am I am against stealing. I'm a hundred percent against it. I think it's shitty for people to do that. I but I think it's also shitty for you to hide things because that's essentially what you're doing is you're hiding uh, map details and things like that. So uh, and so eventually, what the argument rolled down to is it's my map and I don't want anyone else to 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 change it from my original imagination and I don't agree with that at all because you know I just imagine if Blizzard took that mentality they don't want anyone to change their game so they're not gonna release a map editor with a game you know uh, they don't or like you know like or there's like the like modern gaming companies you know there's no modding for games at all because you know why because you know it's their game you know they get to choose if you get to mod it they're gonna they're gonna encrypt the fucking files for that kind of shit um, Actually, I'm, I'm kind of debating if I actually... Because Kerrigan, Kerrigan can handle all this. Let me bring her up here. And that, and that was like... That was a situation where we just agreed to disagree. And, uh... I'm not building a dropship. Okay. Go ahead, I'm gonna need more Marines. Oh, fuck, I, I said I wasn't gonna use Marines. Oh. Okay. Oh. I hate these hotkeys. Okay, so we're gonna use race for this mission. Okay, I just decided this. This race are kind of cool. See, so yeah, I I I dis I had a heavy disagreement with a lot of people. And I don't, I don't think it's ever I don't think a lot of the people respect me for for what I did for that. And and it it kind of rolls down to I don't really give a fuck what they think about me. And I don't think I really care about any, anyone. I, I, I do what I think is right, and I, th I do what I think will benefit people as a whole. And uh, I, I think I think it did. I think people did benefit from that. Um, it came a little late, though, unfortunately, into the StarCraft community. Um, it would, it would, I think it would have benefited bef way before that, because honestly, as I said, and that, that was the mentality I took with my Special Forces Elite map. Uh, if you've ever played it for, for StarCraft 2, you probably have. If you've played Customs, uh, it's been number one probably for the longest amount of time. And and I think it's a testament to to how good this system can be. Actually, I, I want to use character for this mission. But people, people don't believe it because they, they're just like, I want my map to be popular, but I don't want to I don't want to allow anyone else to have to share the fame. And I think I shared the fame, uh, and I liked that. It, it was great, because uh, uh, if you've played any version of Special Forces Elite, there's like a like a ton of versions, and they, all they did was they used my map as a basis. That's it, and they built on top of that. Because all I set out to do is I set out to make a core map. 
I wouldn't spend a lot of time on it. I I was it was made under four weeks. Um, as I submitted it to the Blizzard contest, which I lost, by the way. It, it some other maps won like uh, uh, some like you got a free trip to BlizzCon. That's what I was doing. I was like, yeah, yeah I want to go to BlizzCon. And some maps that you guys have probably never heard of won, like some missile command game type, which which I don't deny. Uh, they're interesting. Like the the people put a lot of hard work into it, but it's one of the things you can't you can't just play it once and you're kind of like oh that's kind of neat and then you don't really touch it again, which is kind of like it's not a good way of it's not, that's not really a, a clear cut winner. I don't know. I, it, they didn't really tell us how they were judging it to be honest, so I can't really complain about any of that. Um, so you know I so I didn't get to go to BlizzCon. I was a little sad uh, on the inside, and uh, I don't know. But anyways, um, but yeah, so I left Special Force Elite open. Uh, I think there's like one guy, one or two maps I I've noticed in the queue that took my name out from being the original creator. Because all I did was I said a comment and I said, leave me, leave my name as the original creator. That's all I ask. You can you can take what from what you want, but if you use the map as a basis, just leave just originally created by Mike. And all the popular versions, you'll see originally created by Mike Rott. You can go on Valve.net right now, you can see it. And, and people people have stayed true to the word. People are not dicks, amazingly enough. They can be reasonable people. Like, it's the, the people who make the, the the ones where they steal your name kind of a thing. They make the shitty maps. They don't, they don't really get the popular maps. And the system works. It really does. And people don't believe that. Uh, they, they still don't to this day. You can go to, onto the major sites and they will, they will tell you that, that you should protect your map without a doubt. Because you don't want other people looking at it. And I, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit mad about that. Alright, let's get the dropship in. Uh, I, I said I wasn't going to build a dropship, and now I lied. I just decided I lied. I think I have enough enough units. Alright. I, I said I wasn't going to make victory fleets, and what am I doing? I think this is like all I need. Oh, that had cloak. I thought I pressed C. Okay. You know, race make great anti-air. Just want to mention that. Ah. Uh. Oh, battle cruiser. Oh God. Come at me, bro. All right, I'm gonna need more race. Actually, I, I was like, I'm not gonna mass race, and what do I need? I need more race. Goddamn race. Um. Let's go. Yeah, you know, I I think that was uh, I think that was one one of my finer moments is that StarCraft 2 map. I really I really really liked what I did there, and I I would have hoped I would have taught a couple people a lesson uh, about you know it's it's not all serious mode. You know, you can make a successful map, uh, but unfortunately, I think that was kind of people people didn't really pay attention. There's still it's 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 all like a giant dick waving fest sometimes, and I kind of don't like that. Uh, well, it's was so, for some people. There are some really talented people in the in the community, but you know, if, if we just got rid of, you know, the the the, the wanting of fame, you know, it's I I think it'd be better off. Standing by. Yes, sir. But yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what I did. Um, you can call me a jerk, but you know, I I I did I did what I thought was was good, and I and you know, I wouldn't change a thing. I think I think it was a good uh, I think it was a good decision on my part. Um, as I said, not, not not everybody would agree with me because they're very uptight about their map credits and stuff like that. But I'm not like that. I'm not uptight about that kind of stuff. And then I, then I decided to go make YouTube videos, and then now here I am talking to you about this shit. So I, I lose basically one wraith every time I run into missile turret. Ah, uh, you didn't get the cloak. Okay, I should probably bring a science this over here. Vector locked in. All right, Attack we're gonna formation. we're gonna go kill this thing. Roger. Attack All right, and Roger. We'll, let's go kill that battle cruiser that's here. We're just gonna kill all these guys. Oh my god, these guys are like, oh god, that's why.
All right, let's go. They don't have scanner sweep, so that's kind of nice. You know, fuck it. You know what? Honestly, wh why are we spending so much time on this? Watch this. Watch this magic, magicness. So I've done I've done a lot of strange things for for StarCraft. So you know, not everybody agrees with it. Oh god! Oh god! You decide to lag now. Alright. Ah! Uh, where did it go? Is the side meter there? Uh, I, I, I think I destroyed it. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna, we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna bring everyone, all the race with it. Alright. You can unload there. There you go. Just promise me we'll never do anything like this again. We will do whatever it takes to save humanity. Our responsibility is too great to do any less. Yay! We win. And you got to learn all about my my open source mapping shit that I did. <laughs> uh, okay.